This is now the sight that greets me first thing every morning as Philip picks up Lancelot and takes him for his walk. Does this mean that you could possibly bring me a cup of tea when you come back? I could, in theory, possibly, yes. But would you? Depends on whether, whether I'm asked or not. Please, may I have a cup of tea? <laughs> sure. Well, Philip's got me on a non-British I'd love training. For you. <laughs> All right, have fun, the two of you. The chapel restorers are getting the scaffolding up. What a day to be alive! And as if that weren't all enough excitement, Jerry is coming today for a few days. So I'm just beside myself, pretty much as excited as the dog was when he woke up. All of this excitement tempered by the fact that it was raining inside last night. We left the window open, but I didn't realise it was raining. Well, I think he's found a new person to, well, serve. Not serving. <laughs> I've been serving him, haven't I? He wakes me in the night just to tell me when his incontinence pad needs changing. <laughs> no, not yet. That's why I picked a younger guy. That's a strong bladder. That's what sells the tea in a man. He is adorable. I, I love dogs anyway. But yeah. He is, he is a particularly special one, isn't he? Second only to Molly. He's got, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's she's got tough of him. But she's got a she's got such a uh, character and personality already. Oh yeah. Two days in, mm. how settled she is. Did you say she? It's a he. Sorry. Well, it's very confusing in this house, isn't it, with all of the animals? And for once, it's got a gender-specific name that actually suits its gender. I don't mind. Lancelot, Lancelot is adorable. He's a great addition to the family. <laughs> Marie called this chaos. I call it beautiful. It is beautiful. All the dead, drying flowers are beautiful. They're not dying very fast. No, not fast enough. I think I'll need to use the ovens. For... Yeah, do I add a bit more? Yes. Mind you, that one's, um, that one got that. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, oh, that's the beautiful berries from the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are the first of Jean-Baptiste's dried flowers. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I think that's going to be fun for winter arrangements. Yeah, absolutely. They are beautiful. I also think we should try to dry some of our own flowers once the season is over. I can do. Why not? That, that will be quite fun. Cut what I think is good and try see to what happens. It. Yeah, see what happens. Because it's waste otherwise. I mean, we may as well. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. How is it going as a uh, pet owner, Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the dog to use. <laughs> There's a treat. There's a treat. Yeah. Oh, but the treat's on the, <laughs> the treat's on the outside of the chateau, darling. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, he so wants to go outside. <laughs> oh, I gave in. So we're never going to learn anything at this rate. Oh, 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 oh you gave in, me. did you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, let's get Geraldino. There he is! Hello, oh, hello. Darling. hello! Hello! Oh, it's so good to see you. Good to be here. Excellent outfit, Gerald. Absolutely excellent. As usual, as incognito. Yeah, no one spotted you. Do you know, I had to wear this. Oh my goodness. Shall I explain to everyone now that you're coming here for the Christmas yes. filming of Channel 4? Yes. Because they might get a bit confused otherwise. Well, the people at immigration, you had to take my jacket off and the guy just looked. He says, it's not even Halloween. <laughs> All right, let's get home. Yeah, yeah. Lovely day for a spot of shopping. Yeah, well. I completely yeah. forgot when I picked you up at the airport that um, Philip and Maria asked me to go and buy things for Halloween dinner. Uh, th this is summer in Glasgow. Can you do that up, Gerald? Oh, for God's sake. Frankly embarrassing. Spice. <laughs> you wouldn't think it was, this is, no, Stephanie, I'll come in Halloween. This is my Halloween costume. <laughs> I've come as dressed as a little elf. <laughs> Philip's just phoned. There's been a terrible accident at the Chateau. That's, in fact, the last thing that I filmed for several days at Lalande because when Jerry and I got back, we found that there had been a tragic accident where an external contractor who was working at Lalande had a terrible fall. He was rushed to hospital, but several days later, he did pass away. And as you can imagine, 
we are all absolutely distraught. There's no way that I could carry on with filming last week. I couldn't film and honestly, no one in the chateau could have been filmed either. We just needed as peaceful a time as possible together. Philip and I were supposed to go to Previdal to join their Halloween celebrations with Julia, Caroline and everybody. And we canceled that. We just haven't been up to anything. Yesterday, we were at his funeral, which is why I did not post the Chateau Diaries yesterday. But from today, I will be trying to post as normal and be back to the dailies starting on Sunday and going through each week from Sunday to Thursday as usual. As you see, Jerry had arrived to film the Christmas special for Chateau DIY with me. We immediately cancelled the filming of that as well. So we probably won't be in the Christmas specials this year unless they film later in the year, which I'm, I'm not sure they will be doing. We just had a very, very calm time all together. I would please ask you not to speculate and talk about this too much in the comments because of course the family of the person involved can be reading the comments. It's an extremely upsetting time for them and please respect their privacy and their time to grieve at the moment. Our thoughts are just with them. I've started filming again because it's Maria's last concert. She won't be back with us next year other than as a guest. Obviously she'll be coming to stay with us as a friend but she won't be working at La Land next year so I don't want you to miss her final final concert and we'll go over to that now. Lancelot's doing really well he's never got this close to Molly before. Mm. It's just in it's terms going of Okay. That's all it is it's just in terms of what's going on. That's it. Just... No there's no heckles. No? Okay. Lancelot has to go. Mm -hmm. Good girl. This is so good. Good girl Molly. Good girl. Jerry's going half on guard. Oh yeah, I, I like his... Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hotel lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Now the piano tune. How quickly can we get Maria in here? This is season 2024. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Lancelot did not like Jerry's playing at all. He's not the only one who's going to run away. Okay, Gerald, Maria has arrived. The warm up act has done his job beautifully, but you can stop now. <laughs> Can anyone forcibly remove Gerald from the piano? Yes, I asked him to warm up for me, so... No, he's done a great job, but it's time for the act to end. Yeah. And since he was waltzing with Elena, I think he's learned some new pieces, so I'm, I'm happy to hear some new repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> My replacement. Done. I mean... I told him, 2024 season. <laughs> <laughs> the first kiss is about to happen. Oh. Well, it's like Molly, probably. <laughs> It's like Lady and the Trap. Just a little interlude into our normal programming. Um, I thought I'd play a piece that I really love uh, by a composer that I really love, uh, by Bach, who's I think sort of the god of classical music. And I know that a lot of the guys are there uh, camping out and uh, hiding away, uh, but listening. So it's his uh, Bach's uh, organ. Choral prelude, and uh, the title of it is uh, We Call to You, uh, Sir Jesus Christ. So I think it's a really nice piece and very comforting. So, um, both for us and for you all, uh, it'll be a nice sort of uh, music to hear. to end on a nice happy note and as a little thank you to everybody here and also everybody watching so dedication to everybody in the community of uh, Lalande or the Lalandes worldwide uh, since we are so international and it's a piece by uh, Robert Schumann and it's called Our Foreign Lands and People so thank you all of us mm -hmm.
I'm so emotional. I can't believe it's Maria's last concert. On top of that, none of us knew that she was going to play the piece by Bach for everyone tonight. And then I don't know if I filmed it so that you could see it properly, but just at the very, very end of the last piece, Molly suddenly walked across the room and just put her head onto Maria's lap on the final note. It just felt like a sign. It was so beautiful. And now Marie has been working tirelessly to make a special family roast dinner for all of us to have together. Yeah. Marie, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was much needed. Yeah. Marie, your horseradish is honestly a revelation. First time ever making it. Yeah, and it's the, well, it's the best. And I, I couldn't do it without Pavlina, who actually got them from the garden. Which is not easy, <laughs> I know. It's good that we're all together like this. Feels right. Thank you all for joining us for another day of La Land Life. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the patrons of the Chateau Diaries. Today I'd like to say a special thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphins of La Land, Gigi Mao, Marina, Frank Martin, and Melissa McCaleb Chapman. Thank you so much for supporting the Chateau de la Lande. Lots of love to everyone and I can't wait to see you again on Sunday.